Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to find the perfect overclock for your computer, or Nitro 5, or whatever your... Or, 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 or your computer, because that's essentially the only thing you can overclock. So, um, besides your monitor, which I have a video which will be linked... To which corner? This corner. Somewhere over here. So, um, yeah. But, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so first off, what you're going to want to do is, um, you're going to want to download MSI Afterburner. All you have to do is look up, up MSI Afterburner Download, and boom, go to MSI.com or TechSpot.com, but MSI is the actual MSI website, so if you don't trust, um, third parties, then MSI is going to be your go-to. Um, download MSI Afterburner, you can download it to overclock from your Android, I don't know what the remote server does, but, um, yeah, I, I don't have the beta, I have the normal one, cause, yeah, but, uh, cause I haven't upgraded or whatever, but yeah, go ahead and download either one, I, I'd recommend downloading the normal one, cause it's more tested, and if you're new to overclocking, you probably want a more tested one, so, um, yeah, go ahead and click that, but I already have it installed, so I'm not going to, um, press it so um yeah i will just go ahead and leave that link down in the description so um yeah let me copy it to a notepad really quick okay so the second thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to download heaven benchmark 4.0 and um yeah it should be this one thing and you should take you to benchmark in in heaven and then go ahead and download it and um yeah it'll um this is the tool we're going to be using to see when your computer will crash yeah now um once you have afterburner downloaded go ahead and find it on your desktop wherever it is or you can just go ahead and search up MSI Afterburner. Or if you're like me and you use it very frequently and you plan on using it frequently, you can just click on it and you can pin it to your start. You can click on it. Make sure to click yes to allow the um, application to run. But um, yeah, I'm gonna cut my camera off now. All right, so all you guys can see right now is my screen. Actually, I can move that to the center and hello again. But, um, now you can see my face again. Someone wants to send me a message on Instagram. We'll see about that. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have a GTX 1650 in my PC, or laptop or whatever. And it's running at 6 degrees C. It's a laptop, so obviously it's going to run hotter. But, um... Also, since I'm on a laptop, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole temp limit, power limit, and core voltage. You don't really want to mess with the core voltage, because that can that's one of the easiest ways to kill your parts. So, um, what I would recommend doing is putting the fan speed to max, or wherever you're comfortable with before the fan sound gets too uncomfortable. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply uh, number 5. So... Drag MSI Afterburner somewhere. Now you want to open up Heaven Benchmarks on your desktop. And you're going to want to copy these settings, I guess. You're going to want to do your language, um, do your whatever, under preset, just do custom. API, you can render with whatever API you want. I use DX11 because that is um, the newest one and I don't like using OpenGL. You can do your setting level, your preferred setting level. I'm going to do low because I prefer high refresh rate. Um, I don't know what tessalization is, so I just have it disabled. Say so 3D, this is uh, 3D audio, so I'd have it disabled just because it doesn't matter. Multi-monitor, if you have two monitors or three monitors, it'll just span across all of them, which really lowers FPS, so I don't use that, even though I have three monitors to connect it to this computer. And anti-aliasing, once again, I said I prefer um, high refresh rate, so you're going to want to make sure that full screen is unticked, or else every time you go to MSI Afterburner, it will... Um, tab out and you won't get to see your thing and resolution do system or whatever your monitor resolution is so then once that happens just click run 
and wait for it to load. Alright, so you guys might be thinking, David, it's a benchmarking tool. It's it's not it's not gonna do anything. Well this benchmarking tool is different, because as you can see, if I turn this off, um I'm running at stock megahertz, I think, on MSI Afterburner. And um, if you click that or press F9 on your keyboard, it'll start benchmarking. So essentially, you can also change your camera position. But essentially, um, it's just uh, the thing now. So as you guys can see in the top right, it's that voltage in megahertz and stuff. So if I apply this, it's not going to say that it's higher until next time, but it really is higher. It's not going to say that it's higher till next time, but um, yeah. So with this running in the background, um, alt tab into MSI Afterburner. I'm getting lower FPS because I'm obviously recording with OBS with my preview enabled. So um, what I recommend is go up by 20 and click check 40 and click check and just keep going up by 20 or 30 or whatever until um, your computer starts crashing. So personally, I know that my computer can run 201 megahertz core. I'd not, I don't run it at 200 megahertz and one megahertz core because it crashes a little bit. But um, don't do anything nuts. Don't go like 260. Personally, most people should not reach 260 megahertz. And as you can see, Afterburner just, cr or, um, having benchmarks just crashed. So. Well, my OBS crashed, oh well. And why is my gain overly high? Oh well, I can move it. So, um, yeah, let's say, let's say you made it to 80 megahertz. And your computer started crashing. Dial it back by 5 or 10. Like, just go ahead and click on it. Dial it back to like 75. And, um... Yeah, keep doing that until you realize that it, until it starts working again, and until it's smooth again. And then, let's say you can only get 75 megahertz on your core, even with your power limit enabled and your temp limit uh, enabled or whatever. Uh, what is it? Overclocked or whatever. And with your fan speed or whatever. So, um, memory clock. Most people should not be able to get like 100 megahertz. On their core actually most people shouldn't really be able to get 60 but um yeah that's just what i've heard from bigger youtubers than me so uh yeah i believe them with your memory clock you should be able to get something a little bit bigger than that you should be able to get around 400 plus at least until before your computer starts crashing most computers will be able to achieve this like personally um this would be this would be a pretty good overclock for most people um but i've found out that my computer can run this so um yeah i'll just leave it on this overclock because it gives me the best performance but i'm gonna say i go up to 900 on the memory no i want to go up to 900 on the memory still runs fine 950 still runs fine let's say we go up to 1200 Alright, so that one was really bad. That even friggin' crashed my entire <laughs> um, OBS and stuff. Or it, it crashed my entire graphics card. So don't do anything stupid. But um, let's say you do end up maxing it out. Go back by like 20 or 30. Or go back by like, uh, by like half or a quarter of what you were going up by. Until you find it stable and having benchmarks again. So like I said, my most stable overclock is 174 core and 858 uh, uh, memory. I've never had a game crash on this, I don't think. I think I've only had a had Fortnite crash once and that was due to um, me rendering a video in the background. So yeah. But yeah, here's this. And like I said, you can obviously go higher. But, the thing with going higher, like, it works perfectly fine, never had a game crash on this. But, however, when I did have my, um, core on 201 megahertz, and I had my memory at, like, 900 megahertz, 
my game would just crash after like an hour it would just start crashing so i did end up dialing it back and now game hasn't game hasn't crashed since so if you do experience frequent crashes in your games um it's probably because you overclocked too hard so if that happens i would recommend dialing it back and also before you do ever overclock make sure that um in your nitro sense if you're using or in whatever sense or whatever you're using all right so i know all your little timmies out there are going to go down into the comments and be commenting david you're not even using a power plant so how are you using your computer to game and do whatever on well actually uh you're you're wrong as you guys can see in my nitro sense like, um for instance, let's say if i alien where put my thing sure in the top to the alien right corner i'm not like using a and, power um, plan in my nitro sense but that's because i have manually that, gone into my so windows command prompt and um whatever, and, uh, made my own power plan uh so yeah that's what i use because it gives me yeah. the most performance so stop commenting so yeah i don't know what lcd overdrive does but i'll look that up later but um, all that will really do is kind of make your fans go a little bit louder and give you more max fan speed for better overclocks. But um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to overclock. Um, just these two tools. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't know when this video will be uploaded, but hopefully by um, 8.26. I'm recording this in 8.24 as you can see in the bottom right. Hopefully it will be uploaded by um, Wednesday. So yeah. Don't do anything stupid because that will break your computers. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.